What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and what you see here is an unboxing of my brand new KitchenAid glass tea kettle. Guys, it's one of those days where it's it's rain it's going to be raining all day. It's been raining since I woke up. It's what, 12 o'clock around lunchtime. It's still raining like a heavy drizzle. So I have a bunch of leftovers. I was going to cook something today, but I have a bunch of leftovers in my refrigerator. And since this kettle has been sitting in my kitchen closet for a month, I figured today is the perfect day to unbox this. Because it's absolutely fantastic and I wanted to show you guys. So, to my subscribers and viewers that are not familiar with an electric kettle, it's just like a regular kettle. But you don't put this on your stove. You put it on this base right here and we're going to get into that in a second and then you just plug it in so this can go anywhere in your attic in your living room in your kitchen outside at your friend's house at your job at the church doesn't matter you just bring this plug it in and in a couple minutes you'll have hot water quick intermission to my new subscribers and viewers you probably didn't get a chance to see what's all on my counter. I wanted to show you real quick. You're looking at $3,000 worth of gadgets right here with no stove. To my subscribers, real quick, I'll go over the uh, left side. This is my rice cooker, which you saw me do a video on the other day. This is my Arc Celsa water machine can make salsa water. This is my bread maker. This is my electric wine opener. That's my egg cooker. It's my vacuum sealer. This is my Vitamix blender. This is my Ninja coffee and tea brewer. Ha! This is my KitchenAid glass kettle that we're reviewing now. And this is my latest uh, Blackstone 22 inch indoor griddle. And that's my stovetop, basically. Look at all that cooking area. Or I could technically use this too. I keep this under the cabinets. So back to the unboxing guys. This is the base right here. And we're going to go over that in detail. Um, but this is where the, all the action, the, the heating action happens. So the glass kettle is going to get heated somehow by this element right here. And uh, let's look at the bottom. What I like about this, it does have a cord wrap. So if you want to store it away, you can wrap the cord there. But when you're using it, you just put the cord right in this little place right there. And boom. Now right here, on and off. And right here is cool. This is your little lever. So you got warm, you got green, you got white. You got oolong, whatever that is. You got black tea, you got herbal tea. And it's got the temperatures right there. I bet the manual has charts. Let me look at that real quick. I could dig it. Cool. Let's check out how long the plug is, and I would say it's pretty long. And but you don't have to have it that long because remember you can wrap it, you know, on the bottom and just use as much as you need. Three prong. All right, guys, let's analyze the glass kettle. First off, let's look at the handle. Nice grip. I like it. Let's look at the bottom. Nice. Let's look at the sides. It's got the markings, KitchenAid branding. Let's look at the other side. What's that say? Cool. Look at the top. Oh, first, before I forget, I like this part right here. You're pouring it out, you got that little 
thingy right there to block out any, you know, stuff that you don't want in your tea, like if you're, you know, like any type of bush or whatever, leaf, you know what I mean. Anyway, so this is uh, how you take it, take it out. So this is unlock and lock. So follow the arrow there, unlock, lock. So you go unlock and we pull out. So this has a little tea infuser thing. I forget, what do they call it? I'll find out in a second. But I'm going to take that out for a second and just look inside. Pretty cool. Yeah, they call this a tea steeper. Never heard of that before, but that's okay. So you could just twist this off. It comes off. So you don't have to use this steeper with the kettle. You know, you could just boil water just like a regular kettle. But if you have teas um, that you want to put in there, whether it's um, straight up or in a bag, you just cut. If you have it in a bag, you just cut off the, uh, the little string and just drop them in there. So that works for me because I do, I brew Moringa tea. Um, my mom has a Moringa tree. My subscribers know mom in her backyard. And it's very good for you, this tea, and I, and I like to brew it myself. I usually do it in my Ninja Coffee Bar, but I can do it in this as well. But we'll, we'll demo that out as well. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So if I don't want the tea steeper in there, that's fine. You just put it in there, close it, lock, and it's good. Now my question is, can we use tap water or are they going to recommend me use filtered water? Let's see. Just as I suspected, guys. Fill the glass tea kettle with filtered water up to the desired level. Ha. Huh. Guys, that's my unboxing. I'm, I'm done with that. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make some tea with this and we're gonna make some lunch in this. We're gonna make well, don't wanna give it away. Anyway, first thing what I wanna do is get this rocking and rolling. Um they require you to, you know, wash off. Uh, your infuser and and bring it to a boil fill it to the uh, fill line um, and bring it to a boil and and you know release the water and that will clean out whatever's in here so we'll do that and we'll see how long it takes to come to a, a boil um, to the max line I'm kind of breaking the rules already because I'm using tap water just for this uh, time well, I'm sure there's going to be other times I'm using tap water. I, I, I can't imagine me using filtered water each and every time I use this. That's ridiculous. But for this time, for sure, just to clean it out and just to see how long it takes to get to a boil, I will use tap water. And as you can see, I, I'm at the max line, which is six cups. And that's more than enough for me. All right. So let's get her all locked up. I'll put it at the lock, unlock position and then I'll... Turn it to lock. There we go. Breaking the rules again says not to use an extension cord, but I'm on my island. When I have it in my position next to my Blackstone, that's where it's going to live. But for video purposes, I like to do videos on my island. I'm going to use an extension cord. Now, I've had an electric kettle before previously, and it worked just fine. I guess just for safety reasons, they say do not use an extension cord. Because if you have a faulty extension cord, you know, wires hanging out or some you know just just a not a good quality one I guess it could cause a fire but I do all my videos with this extension cord so I, I feel pretty good about it <laughs> it gets sexy when you plug it in listen to this y'all y'all heard that we just pop our glass kettle on there's no right way to put it on it could be this way it could be that way it doesn't matter all right I'm gonna hit the on button on and off so I'm gonna hit it it's all obviously off now it's on it's blinking cool so now I'm gonna take this lever and put it all the way over to herbal which is 212 that's that's boiling so that's what I want to see this obviously because it's six cups I would imagine it would take about I don't know four or five minutes or so or maybe longer who knows Five seconds in, guys, and look already. See those little bubbles forming? So this means business. I wonder how much watts this is. I'll, f I'll figure that out by the end of this video. I'll look in the manual. 
Very quiet so far. About a minute has passed. Sides feel warm, but I can imagine this is probably going to feel hot. And I imagine that the handle will be cool to the touch. And it made that noise because I kind of pressed down. But it, I guess when it starts rumbling, it's going to do that. But it's, it's coming along pretty fast. Now we're up to two minutes. Hmm. So I would imagine that probably four minutes it should be good to go. Alright, this is three minutes guys. Looking good. Who's really getting excited now? Look at that. Ooh. Okay, so it made a noise. It makes a noise when it's it's really, really, really at that temperature. Okay, cool. Didn't know it did that. And then it calms down by itself. Nice. Huh. So you don't have to babysit this thing. You just turn it on. It gets to that whatever you set the lever to, whatever uh, temperature. And it gets there. And I guess it goes to a keep warm. Let me, let's look at the manual. I don't know if you could see it, but the... Uh, the light around the on and off button is solid. It's just a solid white light. And the manual says it will stay like this for 30 minutes. If you did nothing and then it will just uh, automatically turn off. So that's, that's really cool guys. And also guys when you take the glass kettle off after it's reached its temperature um, and after the sound goes off that it hit that temperature it will make a chime when you take it off the base. Listen. Pretty cool. It's time to make some tea now, guys. So this is my steeper holder. Put my steeper in like that. Holds it in place. You don't have to use it, but uh, I would imagine it would make it a whole lot more convenient to put your tea in, whether it be tea bags without the string or the just straight up raw tea in there. So this is fresh moringa leaves dried up from my mom's house. Like I said, she has a Moringa tree. Look up Moringa tea. It is very, very, very good for you. But anyway, I just want to demo this for you guys. So I'm just going to drop some in there. And again, you could do tea bags if that's what you have. Now, according to the manual, I would have imagined you would have put this in there while the tea is boiling. But no, you boil the tea, you boil the water first, your filtered water. And then when it boils, then you add this to it. Didn't think to do that. I would have just if I didn't read the manual today, guys, I would have just put it in with the um with the water boiling. <laughs> so all the water that I need to demo what I'm gonna show you now came out to six cups of water. Go figure. And this I use filtered water this time. So let's go ahead and close this up. I'm gonna put it to the unlock position and then turn it to the lock position. Boom. Okay. Put it on the base. Like I said, it doesn't matter what side the handle's on. It doesn't matter. It rotates 360, so it doesn't matter. So my Moringa tea is a herbal tea, so I, that's got to go at 212. The lever's at 212. I just hit on, boom, and I will be back in six minutes. So to my viewers and subscribers that already have an electric kettle. And yours doesn't have like a tea infuser or whatever you call it. Because a lot of them don't. Only a few of them do. You can make your own tea bags with these tea filters that I got on Amazon. Let me show you how they work. Comes in like a bag of this. I don't know how many. It comes a lot. It's a lot of them. I'll leave a link in the description. I just got them because I thought it was cool. I've been had these by the way. And take it out. See it has a string and everything. And you just open it up. And you stuff your tea in there. But watch, we'll do that. See? So I take this. And I guess I make a knot.
something like that. Boom. Shout out to Booger 500 US. Chin Chin. Clearly, I must have been eating these. <laughs> And just to show you guys, I'm going to take this off the base, bring it over to my island and touch the bottom and prove to you that the bottom is not even hot. I forgot to even mention that, but that's just awesome. So we just took it off guys. Here's my hand and it's just warm. Not hot, just warm. So you can rest this on any surface, no big deal. If you can see the steam coming out, but it certainly is. All right, take this out because we we make our own little mix. We don't need that. All right. Now to get the steeper in there, you take the top and you kind of just screw it on. Yeah, like that. Then it just, when you just pull it out, see? And then you place it right in there. Boom. Some of y'all are going to want to know. I'll go to in there. Should be good to go. Bad. One more thing has got to be hot, so I'm going to put a couple drops of this in there. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Come on. Yeah, that, that should be good. Let it sit for about five to six minutes and look at it. Totally infused. Just pour some in there. And remember, it has that little strainer in there. So if there was anything in there, it wouldn't get in there. It would, it would just strain it out. Because it's pimp black. It looks like the tea bag is a little darker, but that's all right. You get the point. And that's because it's just been sitting in there for over 10 minutes, actually. This is my quick lunch. <laughs> Not really good with the chopsticks, guys, but it just felt right for the video. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you first. Before they all fall out. You got it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice and spicy. Get some of that. Really how I eat it is I just take this spoon and just eat it on up with the juice. Take a sip. Yep.
Nice. I would say the longer you keep the um, guys, yeah, I would just leave the steeper in there for a good 15, 20 minutes and it should be good to go. I pull mine out, you know, I, I let it sit for five minutes, but it wasn't, wasn't fair to compare it to the tea bag that was sitting in there for, you know, over 10 minutes. So, but all good. As you can see, it's even darker than it was before. So just wanted to show you. When you're removing the tea uh, steeper out of the uh, glass kettle, you just pull it out, unlock it, pull it out, and then unscrew it off of here. Take it off, take it out of the steeper holder and then empty out however you're going to empty it, which will be in my kitchen garbage. But however you're going to do it, you do it that way. It's dishwasher safe, so it's all good there. I cleaned it out. Easy. Just rinsed it out. No problem. All right, so I, I'm assuming you can't put this in the dishwasher. I'm talking about the glass kettle. So how do they recommend us clean this? Aha, that's why they want you to use filtered water because of scaling and you know all tap water is not the same so if your tap water is garbage you're definitely going to have that problem you're going to have that film on the side of the glass so that's why they recommend you use filtered water but anywho they say to use white vinegar bring it to a boil and let it sit overnight but other than that you just you know like for this use I would just I probably use some soapy water and rinse it out real good and I should be good to go. Cool. Just put some water in there and some dish soap and then just swirl it around. Kept swirling it and pouring out. No big deal. But we are all good to go. Lock it. Well, this is fun, guys. Just wanted to show you guys real quick my brand new KitchenAid electronic glass kettle. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, I got this at HSN. I know QVC sells it from time to time. Um, but if Amazon, I think Amazon has it as well. If, if Amazon has it, I'll put it there. If not, I'll put my HSN link as well. All right. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug, and I'm out.